10 years ago, I had no income, no assets, but I knew one thing. I wanted to improve my position in life. Fast forward, we're in 2024. I've created a life that I love. Um, I have income, I have assets, and I'm happy. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I reinvented myself with zero dollars in my 20s. Last week, I made a video about how to invest in yourself. But what if you have no money to invest? <laughs> you know, I said that like, if you save a percentage of your income, invest that money in yourself. But what if you fall into the category of people that you don't have money? But I was in that category many years ago. I have been there, I've come out of there, and I can relate with you. Before going into the practical ways in which you can invest yourself with no money, I want you to realize something. You may not have any money, you may not have any physical assets on the outside, but you have an asset and the asset is you. The you asset. Richard for that defined an asset as anything that puts money in your pocket and whose value increases over time. Now, where you are in life right now, you may not be putting money in your own pocket or you may not be putting as much money as you desire to be putting in your pocket, but it doesn't still mean that you don't have value and that you cannot increase your value over time. So the tips I'm going to give you in this video are going to be about how you can increase your value so that you can put money or more money in your pocket going forward. The very first thing you need to do is you need to actually look at yourself critically and ask yourself, what do I have? What is in my hand? That is what you need to first figure out. In the Bible, there's a parable of in which Jesus Christ fed the 5,000 with five loaves and two fishes. And there was a problem on ground. There were 5,000 people to feed. And the disciples felt like we don't have anything. We don't have the money to feed these people. We don't have the time to get the money to feed these people. Physically, there was nothing that they could do, they could use. But Jesus, through his wisdom, showed them that they had something among them. And it was from what they had that God multiplied and they were able to feed the 5,000. The point is that there's always something in your hands. You always have something. And you need to do the inner work of being honest with yourself and realizing what you, have, what you have. And most times, if you do not have a lot of income, either you have zero income or you're not making enough, what you typically have is time. Let me give you my own example. I looked at myself more than 10 years ago and I asked myself, what do I have? The first thing that I had was time. I had just graduated from uni. I did not have a job. I was working. I was doing my NYC. The NYC is the service in which you serve the government. Many countries have this, and my country, Nigeria, also had that. So I was serving the government and I was teaching students mathematics. But I had time. I would go to teach a few hours in a day and I would come back home. And I had nothing else that I was doing. Another thing that I had was grit or hard work. I am a very hardworking person. And the way I knew that I had that was I had graduated university with a first class. I had not only graduated with a first class, I had graduated top of my class, top of my college, right? And I had maintained, I had been top of my class throughout my time in uni. So I had had the highest GPA of every course in the science, you know, faculty or department. And to get that, trust me, I read because my life depended on it. That's a story for another day. One thing I knew about myself was if I had a goal, I can work hard. All I needed was a goal. But if I have a goal, I can work hard. I know how to discipline myself. I know how to stay focused. I know how to get resources to achieve my goal. All I needed was a goal. Another asset that I had at that time was I had the asset of learning. Like till today, I'm someone that I love to learn. I'm very, very curious. All I need is for something to spark my curiosity. If I'm interested in video production, for example, you can bet, put your money on it, that I'll be reading books, I'll be watching videos, I'll be online reading about that thing. So those are assets that you don't need money to buy those assets. If you do not have those assets, you need to develop them. Teach yourself how to learn, have discipline. Like no matter where you are in life, discipline is always a must. Discipline when you go to bed at a set time, wake up at another set time, learn how to focus, develop a curious mindset. So I had those assets and how I went from no income to being an I earner now is I found how to use those three assets to get me to where I wanted to go. Now the first one is about investing your time. One thing that I did was I volunteered to work for people for free. 
Yes, I had a first class in chemistry, but my very first job, I volunteered to work for free. I found an entrepreneur. At that time, you know, I was all about entrepreneurship. I loved startups, I loved entrepreneurs. I wanted to learn more about entrepreneurship. Again, curiosity. I was curious. I wanted to learn more about entrepreneurship. So a friend of mine knew somebody and she was going there to apply for a job. And I went with her. And both of us actually volunteered. Both of us are first class students, by the way. But we volunteered to work for this person for free. We just wanted to have a job. So back to you. Obviously, you have to have a goal. What are you curious about? Where are you going? What do you want to do with your life? Figure that one out first. But assuming you've already figured it out, let's say you want to be a programmer. Let's say, you know, you want to be a programmer, you want to be an entrepreneur, you want to be a software engineer. That's what you want to be. Find somebody that has a problem and volunteer to do it for them for free. Is there a company, do you know anybody in your circle that, you know, has a job or has a business? They need a secretary. They need someone to just help around the office volunteer to work for free. Figure out how you can volunteer. So maybe the place is walking distance from your house, or maybe you can get someone to pick you up. And funny thing was that I volunteered to work for free, but at the end of the month, this person actually paid me. It was paying me 7,500 Naira. In dollars today, is less than $7, like $5 was how much I was getting paid every month. And I was very grateful for it because I did not see it coming, coming. And that money became the money that I started using to like transport myself back and forth from the person's um, office. And funny thing is like every month, my salary doubled. By the next month, the person was paying me 15,000 Naira. And then after a while, the person started paying me 30,000 Naira. And from there, I got my first real job in PwC. So you see the journey. The journey was, I was doing my NYC. I volunteered to work for free. The person started paying me eventually. And while I was doing that, I was still learning other skills and I got into PwC. And when I got into PwC, I was already earning a lot more. I was earning like six figures in Nigeria, coming from someone that was earning 7,500. So the very first step is figure out how you can volunteer for free but the thing is that while you are working for free the experience is yours they are not paying you money but they are giving you the chance to learn and to see that's the two things you are learning how to do something and you are seeing somebody else succeeding you are seeing somebody else chase their dreams you are seeing somebody else do things you are learning by osmosis okay that opportunity is invaluable so find out how to do that and you can do that today the second thing you can do with when you have a lot of time is you can learn a skill i learned website designing actually also during the time when i was in my nyc and i learned it on youtube for free i did not have money to, to, to buy a course so then i found out about weeks it was weeks then and then it was wordpress and i went on youtube and i consumed videos i remember the day i learned how to do um how to design websites. I was coming home from the job that I was working for free and I was in a bus. And on the bus, I was on my phone and on my phone, I was watching YouTube video about how to create a website using WordPress. I found one one hour video. It was very long and detailed. And I remember I got home that day. And the first thing that I did was I downloaded, you know, I created a, a, an account on WordPress and I built my first website that weekend. It was a Friday. From Friday to Sunday, I built my first website using the videos that I let, the video that I watched, you know, that day. There are so many skills that you can learn on YouTube, okay? You can learn programming on YouTube. You can learn video editing on YouTube. Like, I started this YouTube channel two years ago. I have not gone, I have not taken any YouTube course. Maybe I should, but I haven't taken any YouTube course. But I have learned video production. I learned how to operate a camera. I've learned all about lighting, all about having a set on YouTube for free. So there are many, many skills that you can learn on YouTube for free. And if you have time and you have the luxury of having a phone that has internet connection, I don't, you have no excuse. Like invest your time and learn a skill. And when I learned website designing, I remember I learned it over the weekend. I went to work on Monday and I was telling everybody, I can design websites, I can design websites. And I was showing everybody what I had created. And everybody was so impressed. They were like, wow, it's so nice. It's so colorful. It's so this, it's so that. The next thing that I knew was, how do I make money from this? Remember, I was broke, okay? 
I had no money. I had no assets. I was hungry. I was hungry. I needed to make money. I said, if you're going out, how do I make money with this skill? I built only one website, but that one, web but that one website that I built is more than other, any other person that does not know how to build a website. So you may think that is a little thing, it's small, but realize that not everybody knows how to do that thing that you've just learned. So I built one website, but I knew that not everybody knows even about WordPress. And what did I do? I went to Twitter and I was looking for, I started finding people, what is people that do like life coaching? I started finding people that did life coaching on Twitter and I was DMing them. <laughs> I DM like 40 people. And what did I say? I told them, I was like, hey, my name is this. I said, I design websites. And I put my one website that I designed on there. And I said, this is an example of my work. And I was like, I'll design your websites for free. That, see, that is the trick. I was like, I'll design your website for free. Just give me a chance. Again, think about what I'm doing. By looking for opportunities to design websites for free, what am I doing? I've only designed one website. When I design a second website, I strengthen what I have learned. Because when you learn a skill, you have to practice. So I was looking for opportunities to practice. I look for people that would give me the chance to practice. By offering it for free, what am I doing? It becomes a no-brainer for that person. Like, it's a free website. I might as well just get it. Also, because I knew that I was not a pro website designer, by offering it for free, if I don't do a good job, they can't, like, the person cannot be so angry because it's a free website. And I think I DM like 40 people. One person replied, just, you need to live on opportunity. One person replied and she was a pastor's wife. She had like a institute for like a course coaching program for women, you know, just about like being a, a high value woman or something like that. And she gave me the opportunity. I remember she asked to meet me because she was not sure whether I was real. And I showed up in the meeting and I was this young, I was, a, I was like, I was, I was a young, young girl, okay, I was this young woman, but she, she was like, you are hungry. Like I was, I wanted a job. And I spoke to her, I said, I have a first class in this, 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 but I'm learning website designing and I want the opportunity. And she was sold. She gave me all the information that I needed and I built the, web, the website in two weeks. I took two weeks <laughs> and I built this website. Every time I came about something I did not know, where did I go to? YouTube, like if you see my Google search, I ask Google the most basic questions. I'll ask Google like, where do I put this box? Like, don't be shy to ask questions and ask the, 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 the most basic questions. And I did that, I built the website and guess what? She paid me, okay? After I was done, I did such a good job that this woman paid me. She paid me 15,000 Naira and it was with prayers. She sent me a lot of prayers, like, thank you so much. That is so nice, blah, 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 blah. But guess what? And I had two websites that I designed. And now I stopped offering it for free. I found somebody else that was going to pay me 50,000 Naira to design their websites. That was my third website. And I was charging 50,000 Naira. Learn a skill. Learn any skill. Offer it for free. And do a great job. Like do amazingly more than the person is expecting. <laughs> They may pay you, they may not pay you, but what are you doing? You're adding to your portfolio. Another thing you can do if you have no money is attend free conferences. There are many conferences always going on. There are so many. Many people are organizing events, they're organizing webinars, they're organizing events. I used to go for events every weekend. My mommy used to scream at me, stay at home, you're a girl, girl should be at home. But every weekend, my church organized one, any event, I'm going. Any entrepreneurship event, I'm going. Like the little money I was getting from this job and my website design, every weekend I was going outside, I was speaking to people, I was meeting people. And what, what am I doing? And what do I want you to gain from those conferences? I want you to gain vision. Without vision, the people perish. You need to expand your mind. If you are not earning a lot of money, if you are not where you are in life, you need to see people. See people that are living the life that you want to live. It's so powerful. The power of vision is so, is so amazing. When you see people that are doing what you are doing, it, it ignites hunger in you. It ignites motivation in you. You'll be like, a human being like me, a woman like me, a man like me is doing X, Y, Z. There's no reason why I can't do that. So that I did. I joined Facebook groups. I joined Facebook community. So I want to start doing that now. Start looking out. There's any 
events in your church. And I know just go for events. Go for events in the area of your goal, okay? So remember, I really loved entrepreneurship. I love startups. So I was going for startup events. I was going for personal development events. You have time, invest your time, go for events. I mean, go for those, those events, dress well, show up like this is the day. This is the day that you will get the biggest opportunity of your life. Show up, speak to people. You may make friends from there. You may get an opportunity from there. You may get an internship opportunity from there, but like be, be present. Another thing again is scholarships. If, and this, is, this was me using my ability to learn, okay? Me going to uni, right, I, will, I, I was in, when I do my undergrad, I was fortunate enough to get scholarships to fund my education. I was lucky, but I also worked hard. I also worked hard. I leveraged my ability to learn. When I started writing CFA, don't forget, when I started writing CFA, I had just started working in PwC. I, nah, and, I had, and I had moved out of my parents' house. So I was paying rent, I was feeding myself, I had a ton of other new expenses that I did not have before. I went to write the CFA exam because I went to move from chemistry to finance. But the CFA exam is in dollars and I could not afford it. What did I do? I applied for scholarships. <laughs> if you can learn, if you can discipline yourself to read, there's so many scholarships that you can apply for. There are many exams that you can sit for that will improve your level in life. So if you can learn, and everybody can learn. If you have a brain, you can learn. You just have to figure out how to learn. Learning is a skill. Learning is a skill on its own. Let me just, I'll leave it, I'll pin it there. If you are wise, you go and figure out how to learn. Learning is a skill. If you can figure out how to learn, there are many opportunities you will get through scholarships. If you are still a student, if you are lucky, you are lucky and you are still a student, study. Education is a leveler in life. Knowledge is power and knowledge opens doors. If you are a student, no matter what you are studying, no matter, like, you don't even have to like what you are studying, just have a degree and have a good degree. I can't tell you how many doors I have opened, onto, has opened to me because I have a first class in undergrad. And I had a first class, I had a very high first class, okay? And I studied chemistry. I'm not doing anything today around chemistry. But anyway, I show up and I say I have a first class degree in industrial chemistry and I mention my CGPA. People will just listen to you because the discipline it takes to have that degree, right? The intelligence it takes, the skill of learning how to learn that it takes, it shows that you are a person that can work hard. You are a person that can learn. So if you are still a student and you are playing around, this is your sign. This is your sign. This is your sign to work hard. Read business books, watch YouTube videos like mine. Don't just watch YouTube videos of like people dancing and people doing whatever. Watch informational YouTube videos, be inspired by people's lives. Get yourself in the right environment. You cannot be what you have not seen. You cannot dream what you have not seen, okay? So see things. <laughs> if you're on Instagram, don't just be on Instagram posting your own pictures. Don't just be on Instagram liking your friend's pictures. Find people that are living the life that you want to live and follow them. By following them, what are you doing? You are seeing. You are seeing other people, you know, live the, a, a life that you aspire. If you have a phone and you have the internet, you can level up. You can turn around your life by investing your time, being curious, and being willing to learn. I'm sure that this video has been helpful for you. And to implement all the things that I'm saying, you need to set goals. Therefore, I think you should watch my 12-week year goal-setting video because in that video, I break down the system that I use to take my vision, my life vision, to annual goals and my annual goals into goals that I achieve in 12 weeks. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.